free markets or command the economy. The revolution has toppled the capitalists and the Red Party has paved the way for land to be reallocated to the mass poor. All are now equal under the eyes of the party, but some become more equal than others. To sustain power, the supreme leader must satisfy his coalition of ministers and commanders through wealth and privilege while suppressing the third class. Decades of succeeding five-year plans pass and the state is absolute, but the supreme leader has died. You now compete against four top commanding ministers to grab the party's throne. To outmaneuver them, you will corrupt, bribe, steal, and cheat, disseminate hoax news to confuse the ill-informed masses, exploit the slow gears of the bureaucracy, and if needed, resort to acts of espionage and violence. The first to build their own glorious statue wins this game for autocratic power. History has seen this before. Khrushchev outmaneuvered his rivals after the death of Stalin and the Soviet Union. The Gang of Four and Deng Xiaoping clashed for supremacy in the years leading up to Mao's death in China. Behind every iron fist is a web of manipulation and alliances, and that power play is what Power Vacuum, the treasonous trick-taking game by Keen Bean Studios successfully captures. This is not a paid promotion. I bought this game as an educator. Microeconomic concepts within the game include theory of the firm. Whether it be competing oligopolistic firms, ambitious politicians, or corporate executives, the strategic behavior between players is the same. Thus, game theory and aspects of the payoff matrix are present. A two-player game can reveal features of a duopolistic market structure, while a three-to-five player game can reveal oligopolistic strategic behavior between players deciding whether to compete or conspire. Trick-taking player actions include winning tricks with high numbers, which provides a temporary advantage, but strategically losing tricks with low numbers enables you to control the power board so that you can conspire and betray to achieve your hidden agenda. Accumulate enough power after each round to be the first to build your monument and claim control of the autocratic state. Relevant books on the topics of political economics, which this game brings to mind, are The Dictator's Handbook, Why Bad Behavior is Almost Always Good Politics by Bruce Bueno de Mesquita and Alastair Smith. On the topic of development economics, Why Nations Fail, The Origins of Power, Prosperity, and Poverty by Darren Asemoglu and James A. Robinson. And in fiction, the George Orwell classics of 1984 and Animal Farm. I also highly recommend Julia, a retelling of George Orwell's 1984 by Sandra Newman. More videos on Power Vacuum to come. <laughs>